Greetings, everyone. Welcome. If you're new um, and this is your first time, my name is Anne and I'm with Utique Bridal and Lifestyle. I had a bride online ask me how to sew this on. She's, she's a beginner sewer. She says she's never sewn before. This is actually a wig hair clip. My bride here, she, oops, I just covered up her groom. Sorry, guys. She actually purchased a veil kit and created her own lace trim veil. She is going to be passing it down to her daughters so that they can wear it on their wedding day. And I also had, this is the Scarlatella family. They are from Fullshire, Texas. She actually made it for her daughter for her first communion, um, the lace trim veil. So I do have a tutorial for the veils and I have it on my YouTube channel, but today I wanted to show you guys how to use this hair clip and when you can use this hair clip. I use this mostly on the Mantilla veil, you know, veils that lay flat on your head like that. I also use the same clip on my chapel veil as I do on the, um, the lace trim Mantilla veil. So those are the few times that I would use it. Can you use the hair comb? Yes, you can, but they are bigger and bulkier. And there's ways that you can prepare this hair comb, by the way, but you don't have to do that with, with the small wig clip. I wanted to ask you guys, how do you guys thread your, your pin or tie the, tie the knot at the end? Because one time I was working with a bride who's never sewn before, and I had this habit where I just, you know, twirled it real quick around here, around the, the, the pin, and then just pull it through. So let me know how you guys thread the end of your needle. I'm going to just imagine that you guys are a beginner bride and I'm just going to simply tie a knot at the end, make a circle and then loop it through and then pull it. So this is for my beginner bride that requested this. And then I'm just going to cut a little bit of the excess thread at the end. You'll see the teeth of the hair comb at the bottom here and then there's holes on on the sides here there's six of them and what I'm going to do I'm just going to do this part really quick so you're just going to make sure that it, this the bottom the hair comb is going into your 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 hair okay and also so that means that this part right here will go under I'm going to use this, uh, this lace, this lace point. And I'm just going to put it down under, underneath here. And then, so you're just going to make sure the hair comb is basically going into your hair. And then I am going to take the needle here. This is laid about, I would say half an inch to an inch down from the edge and then I am going to take this secure stitch it be careful don't prick your finger but you know take it through one of the holes the first the top hole and what I like to do is since it's a double thread I like to pull it through that loop and pull it down like that and I just continue to catch the lace and then go through that hole. And I do that a couple of times, maybe like four, five times. Okay. And I just do that. And I go and catch, just do the center about three or four times. And then catch the last one. get to the last one and I'm done I tend to kind of pull it through the thread that's on there and do it about twice just to make it really secure oops like that and then pull it through the pull it through that loop and then that is done on one side I'm gonna repeat the process on the other side So here you guys go. That is it. That's, it's very simple. Basically, you're just gonna 
flip it over your head and then clip it. This is the Montilla veil. It's a very classic veil. So that is, that's it. That's all you have to do to, sh to um, do the clip. Oh, I'm going to tie down my flyaways. You see that? You see that? But yes, so here, I want to show you how it clips. It just, you see the hair, hair clip there? It just pops. It's kind of like a pops in, pops out. It's so easy. It's quick. So that's how you can get um, a veil to stay.